nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that because it's your work that's the star. And so Stephen is was great. He was taking it around town, and I was a little uh, tentative. And then he ended up landing it at a management firm. Eventually, he was like, "Look, do you want to?" Do I'm smiling because we ended up going on like a series of meetings that were just horrible. We got like. 20 free water bottles and no traction <laughs> and this morning this one morning we we go and i won't say his name but we go we met at a network and the guy literally was just like talking to us like he was just like picking lint off his shirt and he never <laughs> looked up and then he goes look all i can say is just keep writing just keep writing <laughs> and i and like he was like i don't i mean he was looking down at his clothing so I just look up at Steven across the room I'm like what are we doing here so yeah. that afternoon I told Steven I'm like no more for me I don't want any more meetings this is I live on the west side I don't want to sit on the 405 anymore um, for no reason and then that evening we got a meeting with Bob's Burgers so I went reluctantly and it turned into uh, the next six years of my life up until you know to this moment and so uh, it was the best and biggest job I've ever gotten. It changed me as an actor as well as obviously a writer, but it changed me just as a creative. I, I, I spend all day in a room of easily the smartest people I know. These, it, is, it, is un, it is a weird unicorn what's happened at Bob's Burgers where everybody's nice and everybody's incredibly smart. And if you put me in a room by myself for 10,000 years, I would never come up with some of the stuff that mm -hmm. some of these people come up These with. are, what, I mean, Ivy League, they are from The <clears throat> Daily minutes. Show. Yeah, a few, a few Ivy Leaguers, a few like uh, vetted, you know, sort of comedy. John Schrader is, was from Sarah Silverman's show and, and uh, Scott Jacobson from The Daily Show. Wendy and Lizzie Molyneux are the two funniest people. The sister know, team. I and know. they've yes, sold a bunch they, of amazing Yeah, they're schools. writing the new 21 Jump Street. They're, you know, um, these are all names that will be household names, like, or at least in the comedy world, in the screenwriting world. So I just kind of like got thrown into this. Um, and even within, within like months, my brother was saying that when he would talk to me, like my RAM was like upped. <laughs> you just have to run got eight gigs at a there. faster yeah. <laughs> gig rate or whatever, you know. And then suddenly also I'm seeing TV and storytelling from a different, totally different vantage point. Um, I didn't realize how much the actor is like the cilantro on the top of the omelet. Yeah. Like it's, yeah, it's yeah, nothing. Yeah. There's so much cooking that is done before the actor walks in. <laughs> and then the actor gets the awards and all does all of the press. And that's fine. But like but now when I'm when I'm acting I realize how I, I do understand how much is in the batter of it all. Lauren and and the people that create that show, particularly Nora Smith, um, they they just have they 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 come from sensibility at Adult Swim and from Cartoon Network that is uh, not for everybody by definition. They you know the original conceit of Bob's Burgers was a family of cannibals, and um, <laughs> and he and and that put human flesh into hamburgers. And Fox was like, we really like it, but um, a few notes. <laughs> let's um let's take a look at the yeah. The cannibal stuff. And so that fell out. And lo and behold, it's still held together. It still works. What season are you working on? We are currently about to enter season seven. We've been picked up through eight. Uh -huh. And um, it seems like the kind of show that will go as long as Lauren wants it to go. That's wild. Wow.